we're just getting in the car, we're on our way out down to the river for a walk with the doggies. They're in the back, there's Petal looking out of the window. And there's Ruby Dog. Ruby! And uh, Mummy Flea, strapping baby Flea into his chair. He doesn't mind this chair. And we've got a um, like a rucksack, baby carrying thing, which I'm going to use for the first time today. Mummy Flea was concerned slightly that he wasn't big enough for it, but he is, it's fine. We tried it in the house earlier. He okay. liked it. Didn't okay, he? baby Flea, you okay in there? Good boy. <laughs> nice smile. Okay, so off we go. Mummy Flea's, uh, this is her acting debut. She's now going to display the wonder of nature. Well, actually, she's going to display her reaction to the wonder of nature. Okay. You may proceed. Let's say action. Oh, action. And, wow, look, she's blown away. It's awesome. What is awesome? Ow. Oh, Mummy Flea's hurt herself. What is awesome is this wall. It must be, like, I don't know, but there's a tree grown out of it, so I'm guessing it's over 100 years old. A tree grew and was then felled, and another tree's growing out of it. But you can see the roots growing around, and these lovely um, plants and ferns. And I Ivy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. What did you do? Fall down? <laughs> and I just thought this was nice how nature takes over eventually. And this is, I guess, what will happen eventually when society crumbles and the city walls fall. That was a bit dramatic. But this is Mummy Flea's acting uh, debut and my directorial debut. So, anyway, well done, Mummy Flea. The scene was perfect, but isn't that great how nature takes over? Some walkers are passing by when I was filming the wall, and um, they've got special sticks and things to walk with. Have you been far? No. no. Just having a wander. It seems far. Seems far. <laughs> yeah, I do. I know exactly what that feels like. It's like when the day. Going. It's like when the day's only just begun and you wished you'd gone to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun. Have a good walk. Thank you. Bye. Okay, this is Boo Boo or Baby Flea. We sometimes call him Boo Boo as well. And this is his new carriage. It's his new mode of transport. Yeah. He really likes He it, loves too. it. We thought it would give him a better view of things. Hey, Boo Boo, yeah. And we're just um, descending into a prehistoric looking this cave is it. type area. The woods. So, thought we'd show you. We're expecting to see cavemen. That is a sweet ride that he has. Be careful of rock bears. Yeah, a lot of rock bears around these parts. Very vicious. Oh, look, Short, had a, but vicious. Had a camp. Like petal. Yeah. Huh? Oh, right. Sounds yeah. Like it would make a really good pant sign. Yeah. As long as it wasn't rainy. So it's beautiful cool. here. It's quite it? hot this time of year. Even over here in the UK, it's quite hot. It's nice. And this would be a good We spot. like this. Just for a night or two. Are you eating your bib? Is it tasty? Are you hungry? Show them up there, top of the cliff. In the sun. It's nice, yeah, it's isn't it? It's a bit clear. I did just show them up there. Can I use the camera a minute? There you go. I've just seen a woodpecker hole. Um, I'll show you it, guys. Hang on. Careful. Yeah. Just, that's definitely a woodpecker hole. Come and see. Is it? I will. Okay. Um, dead piece of wood here. Definitely got a hole. Oh, yeah. I don't know if they can see that. This is a great camp. It would be a great camp. Can you see that, guys? There, there we go. I think that's a hole made by a woodpecker or something. Or maybe somebody made it, actually, for... Oh, no, there's another one at the top up there. I think it's a woodpecker hole. I don't know. It could be wrong. I don't know if they actually make holes like that. I think they just peck through the bark to eat insects. But maybe they do. That would be good fun, camping here and a bit of climbing, a bit of freestyle climbing, not too high. Yeah, we'll have to come here and spend a day or two here, Mummy Flea. Yeah. 
<laughs> I like the prehistoric feel of it. And the great thing about climbing this is the overhang. I'll stand underneath so you can see. There's quite an overhang, but it's good. Good sandstony stuff. Limestoney, sandstony, I'm not sure which it is. But as you can see, there's quite an overhang, so it's quite a difficult climb. And there's more of a novice route over there. Great. This is the place to come next. This will be my next outdoor mission, and I'll bring my camera this time. I couldn't take it canoeing, although I could have it turned out. Those canoes were so... Look at that, that's so steep and overhung. Brilliant. Yep. Would you agree, Mummy Flea, this would be a good spot? For what, a camp. Yeah, yeah. We'll do that next. Wicked. Yeah. yeah, wicked. Say wicked. Wicked! <laughs> I really like how the sun shines through tree canopy. It's nice. All we need now is James Galloway to be playing a flute. And it would be a perfect moment. Not that it isn't a great moment. Who's that? It's a flute player. Oh. I think that's his name. I could be wrong. Someone will tell me, no doubt. Anyway, thought that was nice. <laughs>